everybody. Welcome back. It's Gina. Uh, I've got a journal that I've finished up and I thought I'd do a quick flip through so that you guys could have a look at this. Um, if you've been following me, you know I recently showed a tutorial on how to use the um, embroidery... Uh, oh gosh, I've already... <laughs> It's already left my brain. Oh my goodness. Anyways, it's the process on how to make this journal cover. I'll put a link in the description box below if you're interested in um, in following that <coughs> tutorial on this. It was great fun and I, I definitely recommend it. Um, so I had showed you guys um, these covers that I had previously made and I've just gotten around to uh, filling it up. This is a one signature and um, closure is sorry silk. I've added some buttons here and then did some stitching around here. I don't know if I showed it close up in that tutorial or not. Probably not. But um, going inside here, this is another, I guess I'd still consider this part of the stash busting because it's just a real varied mix of things from my stash, guys. Um, some new techniques and things I'll point out as we go through. So on the front cover here I made a um, uh -oh. oh don't know why that stuck it must have been off of that. Anyways here's a fabric uh, pocket here that I've layered up. I've added this old um, book plate there that I picked up a pack of those um, a while back and I just forgot about them and as I was rummaging through my my stuff the other day, I, I found it and thought, oh, I must start using those. So, just lots of little things. These were um, from Artie Mays. She did these tiny little, um, well, I downsized them and just made a little scrappy pad here. And then here I've just added, uh, this was some leftover avocado paper that I've just folded up and tucked into this little pocket I made out of um, some of the little craft envelopes and I just stamped on it and Mod Podged it to seal it. And then I stitched that and added a um, handmade uh, crocheted flower there. So that's been tucked into the front cover. And then here is a mailer that I've just opened up and made a pocket out of. And within it, I just added an image, so that's just permanent. You'll see when I flip over. Here's a little um, book page pocket. And then, as I said, just I've just taken a real mix of things from my stash and tucked into this. So I've tried to coordinate it, um, and it is very much a nature themed, if I didn't say that already. So this is the back of the mailer. I just lined it with some um, avocado dyed paper. And then I've made a little tuck spot here that I've taken index card that's been tea dyed and just did a little die cut there. And then I made this. This was an Edith Holden book page. Um, and then I backed it with some tea dyed paper. So that's tucked in there. And did some layering here. And this flips open so you've got three places you can do some writing there as well. <coughs> Another... Um, Thing I found in my stash was some of these um, piano roll, you know, the way they're wrapped up. Well, this was left over because obviously I've been using the paper. And then I just thought, well, I'll just add it in there. And then I've just tied on this little um, bead here as well. It's one of those, I don't know what type of stone that is, but that is sterling silver. And I don't remember how I acquired those somewhere along the way I did. But... <laughs> um, this is just a tag that I made. I, one day I was just trying to go through my scraps, so I just did all these, glued them together, um, and then stitched around that. So I've done stamping, stitching throughout the journal, and then I did this little um, tuck spot here, and that's just got a lot of layering. I'll give you a, a close-up so you can see that. So that's got some burlap and stamped muslin as well. So, like I said, just a real mix of things from my stash. This is old vintage book plate, um, a book page, and I've just backed, you know, made a little pocket here. There's a little metal piece there, and just stamped. And then that's a Tracy Fox um, 
one of her ephemera packs. Ruffle here and just bits, you know. Here I've got a little um, butterfly that I cut out, stitched that with some cheesecloth behind it, and then also this is a decoupage uh, with a napkin pocket there. It's all been sewn around it. And then this just a little envelope that you could glue together if you wanted, but I just left it uh, open in case someone wanted to write inside of it. A uh, snippet tab here with an old button stitched to it. Make sure I don't fold that butterfly there. Um, just a mix of papers that somehow I ended up with a lot of leftover papers and I've just combined them all in here because um, they're all nature themed. So here you've got another tuck spot, some old notebook paper there. Uh, these for, I played around with my doilies and um, the glimmer mist the other day. I was out in the garden, it was a beautiful day, so I just hung all my doilies on the, well not all of them, but a lot of doilies on the clothesline and went through and sprayed them with different um, glimmer mists and it, it it's just, they've come out really pretty I think. They're, they look kind of vintage because you've got lots of different colors going on but it did uh, tone them down a bit uh, doing it that way. Here uh, you have probably saw this. We did this a while back. I did pocket tutorial and that's one of the pockets I had left over and then just various things from my stash that all related to the garden. This is some uh, this image comes from my porch prints, and I've printed it onto vellum, so that I put that in there as well. Another uh, journal card, and then this was left over from an Artie Mays project. So you've got another little place to write there. Love those owls, and then on the front you've got the mushrooms. So here, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. Um, here I've got I've created another little pocket as well. And then a little mini file folder, and then that's been uh, stitched around. No writing space here. I've just added a die, a negative die cut. Got a pocket here, and then there's also a pocket um, on this this side. So Edith Holden book page, lots of stitching in this journal. I don't know if I said that. Uh, here I just made a little like a book bookmark that you could do some journaling behind. Tiny pocket there. Um, book page uh, pocket. This is a double pocket, by the way. And um, then here I just kept these tags together so that you'd have like a double writing space, and that's been tucked in there. And then again, you've got one, two pockets, and then this is a third pocket here, and this is an old index divider, um, and I've just decoupaged on it and added a little label. This was, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I made a boo-boo um, when this coronavirus hit. I ordered some uh, flour, and this is where I, I try to get my specialty flowers from this Shipton Mill. They have um, a place down in the Cotswold, which is about, uh, from here, it would probably take about an hour to drive there. And we went down one time and, and toured the mill, and it is just stunning, stunning place. Well, I ordered my um, some flour from them, and this is one of the bags, so I've just repurposed it because it's, it's a nice bag. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool because it comes from England, so... And then inside, um, I've tucked this. This is one of the Royal Horticulture Society postcards. I thought that was really nice. So you've got more journaling space there. This is a um, piano music roll paper. I've just doubled it up, stitched around it, so that flips open, and that just tucks in behind the little butterfly. So you've got some more writing space there. 
Um, there is not, I sealed that, um, glued all the way around, so there's not another pocket behind that. I had considered it, but I thought it's a little bit um, flimsy, that piano <coughs> paper, so I, I decided not to. Center of the signature, just add a little metal uh, flower. Here, um, another little narrow pocket, and I added that little place you can do a, a journal card. You can do some journaling behind that. And then this over here is just another little flip out um, with the doilies. I just something a bit different. And again, there's the <coughs> other side of that um, flower bag. So I've just added, this is a vintage playing card, and this is another um, postcard. This is Artie Main's eco-dyed uh, eco papers. I love those papers. They really are beautiful. Look at that. Um, here this flips over and I've included, I was going through my stuff and I've just been hoarding all of these little brochures from places I've been and all. So you can see the image. It's very much in the English uh, manor house and I can't recall what place that was we went to, but I put that in there. So I thought, well, this has got very much, um, you know, lots of things from, from things I've seen and done around here. So. And this is just another kind of like a Franken tag that I've just taken. Anything that was left over that matched, I just put it all together and added some fabric there. And then this is a glassine bag, and I've added some twine there. And then it's I've stamped We Are All a Little Fragile. So that flips over. This is an old uh, Nature Walk uh, book that I've got. And then here, another vintage book page that I created a pocket back here and added another handmade journal card there. Another little um, snippet tab with a button that's an old button there. Love that book page. So much color in there. And then here I was just playing around and I stamped and just did some more of the little uh, dots and things and I wrote nature on there and added those little journal cards in there. Another little uh, double pocket here. This has all been decoupaged. And, and then this was another tag I found in my stash. These, I love that paper. Here are a couple of uh, vintage tea, tea cards. So you've got the, what's it's just the tiger and another a Britain bird, I guess. Another little um, snippet tab. And then here, this has got a little pocket here with another journal card inside. And then just various things. And again, another one of those little little tags I made after um, Eva's tutorial, but mine didn't come out like hers at all. <laughs> so there's no point in me pointing you that direction. I just ended up, mine were like completely, but it just, it, it was the inspiration behind me trying that. And I do love how those have come out. They're like a, it's like a leather coin. <laughs> um, on this pocket, this is another napkin decoupage pocket. And then this was a, um, greeting card I found in my stash. I love that because it's got the iris with the dragonfly and there's some gold on that. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, just included that because I thought it really went nice with the theme of this journal. And here another bit of the um, avocado dyed paper. And then I did some stamping on that little tag, um, or label, sorry. These are Tracy Fox labels. And then over here, I've just added a die cut and a little journaling card there. And then this is the wildflowers <clears throat> that I've been gathering. I um, laminated those onto some 
um, uh, music sheet paper, and I just think those came out so pretty. So I just tucked him in there. And then this is the last page in it, and I've created a pocket here and added another. This is one of those big um, flower cards um, that I've, I've had those for ages, and I don't know. I ran across a few I had left. Um, and then on the back here, I've got another fabric pocket, and then this is a um, napkin decoupaged um, journal card. And then this was something I was playing around with when I found, when I figured out how to do the little book page um, booklets. And this was like the first ones I tried, and it, it's just using um, lots of different little um, offcuts from my leftover scrapbooking paper. So I've included that in the back. So as you can see, there's lots of extra little writing space. And then that's the back of the cover. Isn't that beautiful? I love this journal. It feels so nice. I love the fabric journals, as you know, and this one in particular because it was such a fun process um, making that. So do check out that tutorial below. And if you're interested in this journal, this is going to be for sale in my shop. So you can check the link below in the description box. And um, I'm just going to say, I hope I don't get interrupted, but I was going to say um, that's the end about uh, the journal. But if you're interested, I thought I would give you just a quick look. Now this is, I'm going to have to move. Um, I finally finished up, guys, all of my friendship journals. So I'm very quickly going to give you a little... Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to scan and let you see. I ended up with 13 journals, guys. And I finished those off today. And uh, so there they are. When I get some time, I'll try to do um, a flip through of these last uh, seven. Because this was, let's see. Yeah, this was the last one you guys saw. So I've done four, five fabric, and then I did two of the uh, envelope decoupage. So so there they are, guys. That's it. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today, and I will be back very soon. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.